It's important when you first come to the house that you haven't been in yet, you do a full walk around all the way outside of the entire house and look for structural damage to the house because this one looks fine when we first come up to it, but as we further inspect it, if we didn't have this fire line tape here, we notice that the entire foundation behind these bushes is caved in from this corner all the way around the corner and as we walk around we'll see more damage. This, safe, this house is not structurally safe to go into. So as we walk around over to this corner, this porch, you can't see underneath it, but that foundation has gone underneath that, so that porch in its essence floating up above there, the supports might be gone from that porch too. And then over here, you can see straight through that house. You need to make sure to do that walk around first thing. The other thing to do when you do the walk around of the house is to look for the warning labels that might be on the windows and doors. You'll have to look around and see. Um, depends on the type of the house, where they're going to post these, but for example here, the gas utility company has posted a warning what's done and with the information that you need, including phone numbers that you can contact them, as well as the electric company, what they've done, and contact phone numbers included. Also, the city fire department has come through in this particular house and labeled this house as unsafe to enter because of foundation issues on the outside. Another thing we want to look at, now we've already looked at this porch to make sure we've looked underneath and around to make sure it's solid, but examples like this glass door that's caved in here, the homeowner might be tempted to walk into that glass, but easily one of these big shards of glass could come and just slice down anywhere on them. So just absolutely no way do you want to go in through, those, through these kind of openings there. As we're doing the initial walk around, the, the thing we want to look for too is uh, to make sure the gas is off if there's gas service to the house, as well as electricity. And in this case, uh, you can see that the gas company's been here where they've capped off. They've actually pulled the meter in this case. That won't always happen. But they've capped off the gas line coming in, and they've shut it off and sealed it to make sure it can't be turned back on to make sure that valve is shut.